Installing a utility pole safely requires advanced planning, an ability to use several types of equipment, and a knowledge of rigging to lift and control heavy loads. As with any job, the actual equipment and techniques used will vary from company to company and with the actual conditions found in the field. Be sure to check with your company for the specific methods of pole installation and replacement used on your system. To begin with, let's take a look at three different methods of digging a hole so that a pole can be installed. A hole can be dug using a digger derrick, a portable power hole digger, or manual digging tools. Of the three methods, the digger derrick is often fastest for digging the hole. The digger derrick can also be used to lift and manipulate the pole during the installation. Let's follow along as a digger derrick is used to dig a hole for a pole installation on a new feeder line. During the tailgate session, the crew plans how the job will be done and crew assignments are made. Two of the men will dig the holes while the rest of the crew will work on the equipment that has to be installed on the poles once they've been set. The location for each pole has been marked with a stake, so the crewman visually checks each location to determine where to position the truck and notes any obstacles that may cause problems. The type of soil that he will be digging in is also checked to determine whether the holes can be effectively dug by the digger derrick. This soil looks like it will be easy to dig and will support the poles once the holes are backfilled. He also makes sure that the proper local authorities have been notified so that any existing underground utilities have been identified and located. In this case, the existing utilities were located and marked with paint earlier. Next, he needs to determine the size hole that is needed for the first pole. Let's look at a simplified illustration to see how the size of the hole is determined. The crewman knows that the pole is 40 feet long. The rule of thumb for the depth of the hole required in normal soil is 10% of the length of the pole plus 2 feet. So in this case, the depth of the hole should be 10% of 40 feet, which is 4 feet, plus 2 feet. That would make the total depth of the hole 6 feet. Next, the diameter of the hole has to be determined. While there's no fixed rule of thumb here, there are several guidelines that are helpful. The hole has to be wide enough to accept the butt of the pole and still allow room to tamp and backfill around the pole. However, the hole shouldn't be too wide. This would require extra backfilling to be done. It could also weaken the support for the pole since backfill soil is normally softer than undisturbed soil. Thank you.